Yeah, and I would like to say thanks to Amara for inviting me and Ultra Sports India. This was a wonderful organization. The event was great. And I could see so many people turning up. I can see the interest with the families and so many kids. The way they have shown the love for football today, it was amazing. But I know that, you know, in Calcutta, Goa, or uh, in Kerala or Northeast, football is, is big. But then in a place like Thane, this is something, you know, I'm really happy to see this interest in, uh, among the youth. So, so my father, when I was, uh, football was, was of course, a, a big in Northeast, like I always say that. But football, playing football, uh, they couldn't do much. My father himself was a footballer. He played for the state, but he couldn't earn much money. So he was dead against me playing football. He used to beat me up when I was, used to come back home, you know, when I was seven, eight, nine, ten. But then when I was 10 year old, you know, I got a news from my friend that, you know, if we get selected in, in Tata Football Academy or Sports Authority of India, we will study for free, if, especially in uh, Sports Authority of India, where we will get to play and study in the best school of India for free till class 12. My father thinking was, you know, if I, if, my fa if I teach my son how to play football and if he's good enough, get selected and he will, he want me to become an army officer. But my dream was not to become an army officer. My dream was to become a footballer since I was 10 years old when I was in class five. And I got selected when I went to play in Calcutta for under 12 tournament. I got selected in uh, Tata Football Academy and uh, Sports Authority of India. And I had five or six days to decide where should I go to. My father was like, son, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to Tata Football Academy. You are going to Sports Authority of India. You are studying in the army school to become an army officer. So I cried for five, six nights. And my grandfather finally said to my father, son, let him go where he, where he wants to. And then my father dropped me at the Tata Football Academy. And I was there for six and a half years. And that was the best moment we had, Ranjan sir. Uh, he was our coach. You know, he, he, I have to be thankful to Ranjan sir when I was for teaching me in Tata Football Academy for six and a half years. And after that, Sukhi sir who selected me for the Indian national team when I was 19. And after that, Bob Houghton, again, who, who, has, who has helped me revive my career after playing in Calcutta for so many years. And, and, and after 12 years, I played for the national team and it's a history. So first, in our days, of course, all due respect to I League, Yes, Calcutta football was big, Mohan Bagan, East Bengal. But we have to see that after Indian Super League, the players who they used to see only on TV, suddenly train with them day in, day out, week in, week out playing. Now that itself, it's a, it's a moral boost. When you, when you used to see those players only on TV and suddenly you play with him and you, want, you, you can improve so much. So ISL, Indian Super League has helped develop Indian football first. And we have to give credit for, to uh, Stimak for the way in the way Indian football players are playing. Uh, people talk about oh, no, not a great second half and stuff uh, against Oman. I was there in the stadium in Guwahati, but we played a very good football. And, and then with that positive they took and they went to Qatar and everyone was thinking we will lose badly. But the Indian football players and the coach, they were confident that they will do well. But you could see the, that in first half, if a, if a team like Oman, if we can do so well, why not with Qatar who, who beat Japan or Korea easily in Asia Cup, right? So, so I feel defensive wise, that was one of the best match India have ever played in many, many years. But the challenging thing is now as we have played draw with Qatar, the, the news has gone everywhere. Yeah, but Bangladesh will be a tougher match. You know why? Because Bangladesh will defend for their life. They will not, they will be compact. And India were playing defensive and going on a counter-attack. And we played well, no doubt. But Bangladesh is going, not going to be an easy match. So it will be a challenging... Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how India break those compact defense of Bangladesh by playing attacking football. Uh, it will be really nice to see. And all the best wishes to the, to the coach and, and to the Indian national team. Yeah, 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 I played for club football, Mohan Bangan, East Bengal, JCT, Kerala Blasters. But uh, for playing for national team under uh, when we when we won against UAE, the, those were memorable under Suki sir. Those were memorable moments when we won against Syria under Bob Houghton sir. That was one of the best. And uh, when we scored against a Bahrain, uh, the ball hit the bar, went in, came out, Sunil head back. Yeah. So those were different moments. Nehru Cup, 
And then when we beat uh, in the World Cup qualifying a team like UAE, and when we played against bah Bahrain, Australia, and, and, and South Korea, those were the important moments, those were the best moments which I will always cherish. Uh, what I see from, from Indian football now, I think Indian football players are a lot fitter than in our days. I feel they are playing with quicker pace. The pace is, is quite high, much better than us. But then individual brilliance, indi individual qualities, comfortable with the ball, I, I can't see much. Even though they can run in speed, uh, they are more tactical. Indian players play more tactical now. In our days, there was no tactical and all. We just go 11, we 11, we just fight. But we have better coaches, we are more tactical now. But the only difficult thing for India is, are they comfortable with the ball? Not many players, but we see one player, Sunil Sethri. You can see whenever he received the ball, it's not easy to get the ball from him. So if we can have a player like Sunil Sethri, who can be more comfortable like him, four or five players, we will do much better than what we have done now. Yes, we have done well, but we can do much better if you are comfortable with the ball, which is the, is the next step for India. All the clubs. If you see, I played for Mohan Bagan for six years, East Bengal for six years, three years for JCT, uh, two years for Lajong. Uh, every moment is special for me. But the most memorable moment for me is the derby when there is 130,000 people watching. And if you can score in, in those games, you are the hero. And if you lose, you are the villain and you are not going to go out three, four hours from the dressing room, right? But playing under those 130,000 crowd was the best moment for us. And that was, th those days where, where you know, I, I still, when I still think about it, I feel great. Yeah, especially I can see that uh, there are a lot of the players are getting more money than in our days. And I'm really happy with that. And there are a place like uh, Goa, Kolkata Atletico, uh, Kerala, uh, the players are all getting good money. But in a place like Northeast, with so much of potential, we produce the most number of the players all over India. But then we don't have any sponsor. And without sponsor, with, 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 with so much of potential, it's very, very difficult to survive. I can see Baichung, you know, with, with all the interest, you know, we, when we were in Dubai, that's when we, we, we were thinking to start together uh, a Sikkim, yeah, United Sikkim, but he, he, he did quite well for a few years. And I think without the sponsorship, he alone taking out from his own pocket was, was difficult for him. And, and there was no sponsorship at all. But in Northeast, I think sponsors should, should look into it because when you have potential, you know, you can like Manipur now. A classic, they were sponsoring for the last four years for Neroka. And they have, they, they have brought so many players from Japan and from Australia. Edu from Brazil, there are, are so many good players and they, have, they came second in the league. But without the sponsors, the players are all on 20, 30,000 now. So Classic has moved out and it's difficult. Classic is concentrating on their academy. My academy and Classic Academy, we got together and we are, we are concentrating on under 17, under 15 and under 13. But look, Neroka and Trao, uh, without the sponsorship, they can't sign big players. But one good thing is they can produce local stars coach the coaches. We need good coaches spread out all over India. That's why Ultra Sports, you know, today we have seen that such a good facilities and with so much of interest, if we can have a good academy here. Like in Manipur, we never had a had an academy in our days. Like I said, Tata Football Academy and Sports Authority Sai was the only academy. Now you go to any corner, there are many good coaches around and we still have to get more coaches spread out all over and have an academy in Manipur. We have Many uh, retired players who have started their academy in their village, and that's a good step. And then slowly, slowly, I see that if we continue doing this, and we have seen the Indian team result also with a new coach coming in, they are doing better, and we will be able to produce in another two, three years. If we keep on working, we will be able to see players, like we said, will be more comfortable, who are more comfortable in the ball. If you don't work with the ball, you're never going to be comfortable. Of course, you can run, because you need to have speed in football, but at the same time, football, if you are not skillful, if you are not comfortable, you know, you can't play great football. So if you keep training every day uh, with, with good mentality, with positive mentality, uh, with good coaches who, who are learning fast, I think we can get better. Well, it was fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks.